والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one O Lord of this blessed month we praise you for Ramadan each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one O Lord of this blessed month we praise you for Ramadan and for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light. Inna alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'gfiruhu. Wa na'udhu billahi min shuroori anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina. Man yahdihi allahu falamudilla lah, wa man yudlil falahadiya lah. Wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa allahu wahdahu la sharika lah. Wa ashhadu anna sayyidana wa nabiyana muhammadan abdullahi wa rasooluh. أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Your goal in Ramadan is to achieve the level of Ihsan Last episode, we talked about how to achieve the level of Ihsan in your relationship with the people. We said that you cannot be upset, you cannot be angry. You're supposed to control your anger. You're supposed to be well-mannered. إِذَا كَانَ يَوْمُ صَوْمِ أَحَدِكُمْ فَلَا يَصْخُبْ وَلَا يَجْهَلْ وَإِنْ سَابَّهُ أَحَدٌ أَوْ قَاتَلَ فَلْيَقُلْ إِنِّي مْرُؤٌ صَائِمٌ If it is a day of fasting, don't act ignorantly. Don't try to respond to someone who act ignorantly with you. Rather, tell him, I'm fasting, I'm fasting. Again, to achieve the level of Ihsan in this month, in the area, if you're dealing with people, you're supposed to abandon falsehood. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and the hadith, fi sahih al-Bukhari min hadith Abi Hurayrah, radiyallahu an, man lam yada' qawla al-zuri wal-amala bih, falaysa lillahi hajatun fi an yada' ta'amahu wa sharaba. Whoever does not abandon, leave, speaking falsely, acting falsely, he rather go and eat and drink. Brothers and sisters in Islam, you're supposed to be well-mannered in Ramadan with the people. This way, you will become a muhsin. The second area is the area of acts of worship. You cannot just stay at, at what you're supposed to do only. You must do only. You must increase in Ramadan. In the salah, keep up with the nawafil. Don't you dare leave Salat al Taraweeh. In the area of the Zakah, give the Zakah and give more Sadaqah. Be more generous in this month. What about feeding people? You know that the Prophet ﷺ said, if you feed someone who is fasting, you will earn the reward of that fasting person and he will also keep his reward of fasting. Brothers and sisters in Islam, if you're able to perform Umrah in this month, the Prophet ﷺ said, a Umrah in this month is like a Hajjah with the Prophet ﷺ. And the Hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, in Hadith Abdullah ibn Abbas, radiyallahu anhuma. And we came to the area of your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why, by the way, they called Ramadan the factory of taqwa. Your consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must increase in this month. And we cover the statement of Hatim al-Asam, rahimahullah. And he is one of the predecessors. He said, Urqub nafsaka in the thalath. Be mindful of yourself in three cases. If you do something, remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking at you. Here you're fasting. 
Look, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking at you, will you be doing something that is haram? And will you be doing something that is not good in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If you are mindful of this, rest assured that Allah subhanahu that insha'Allah you will always do things that are good and pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because you're conscious that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you all the time. And we shared with you the story of Abdullah ibn Umar. Once he asked the shepherd to sell him a sheep or a goat and tell his owner that the wolf ate it. The shepherd told him, where is Allah? Also, we shared with you the story of the daughter of the mother whom Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu an chose in her to be a wife to his son, Asim. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the second area that Hatim al-Asam mentioned is once you speak. Remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears you. There is a beautiful story that explains a beautiful verse at the beginning of Surah Al-Mujadala or Al-Mujadila. And the hadith Imam Al-Bukhari compiled it a hanging chain of narration called Mu'allaq. But Imam Ahmad rahimahullah also connected that chain of narration. What Aisha says that Khawala bint Tha'laba radiallahu anha came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam complaining about her husband Aus ibn Samit radiallahu an about him mistreating her. Aisha radiallahu anha was in the same room with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the female companion, but she stayed a little bit far away. She only heard bits and pieces of the conversation. Upon the conclusion of the complaint of the female companion about her husband, Jibreel alayhi salam came down with the Quran. قَدْ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ قَوْلَ الَّتِي تُجَادِلُكَ فِي زَوْجِهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has heard the conversation that you have with the wife. وَتَشْتَكِي إِلَى اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ يَسْمَعُ تَحَاوْرَكُمَا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is hearing your conversation. Look how Aisha radiallahu anha, Ummu al-Mu'mineen radiallahu an Aisha commented. سُبْحَانَ مَنْ وَسِعَ سَمْعُهُ الْأَصْوَاتِ Glory be to the one whose hearing encompasses everything. Here I am in the same room with them. And I did not hear the whole conversation. And he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, in his throne, in the seventh heaven, and he heard the conversation that the woman had with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you are mindful, brothers and sisters in Islam, in Ramadan, with the word that you utter, and remember, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, it may be a word that a person speaks carelessly, and it will earn him the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it will cause him to sink in the hellfire for 70 years. Brothers and sisters in Islam, be mindful of the words that you utter in Ramadan. You will be a muhsin. Don't run your mouth. Hold the tongue. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told Mu'ad ibn Jabal that the majority of the dwellers of the hellfire go to the hellfire because of two limbs, their private part and because of their tongue. Hold your tongue in Ramadan. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu said that there is one limb in your body that needs a long-term jail, life sentence. He said, your tongue. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the third area where you're supposed to achieve ihsan is the thoughts that take place inside your chest. And this is what Hatim al-Asam said, وَإِذَا سَكَتَّ And if you are silent, فَذْكُرْ عِلْمَ اللَّهِ فِيك Be mindful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what you're thinking about. وَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَعْلَمُ مَا فِي أَنفُسِكُمْ فَحْذَرُوهُ be informed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what takes place inside your chest. So be mindful of this. يَعْلَمُ خَائِنَةَ الْأَعْيُنْ 
the blink of an eye, the steel of an eye, you steal an eye, Allah sees it. وَمَا تُخْفِ الصُّدُورِ And what your chests are concealing. If you achieve ihsan in these three areas, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters in Ramadan, you will be successful. And you will be amongst those who are muhsins, amongst those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Beside earning the forgiveness in the month of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love you. You don't know what happens if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you. Hear this hadith, hadith Jibreel, hadith Abi Hurairah, radiyallahu anh, and the hadith in Sahih Muslim. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا أَحَبَّ اللَّهُ عَبْدًا نَادَى يَا جِبْرِيل If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves one of his servants, he will call upon Jibreel. O oh Jibreel, I love so and so. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pronounces your name. What is your name? If Allah loves you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will pronounce your name. Ubay ibn Ka'b, radiyallahu anhu, and his hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called upon him, and he told him, Ya Ubay, O Ubay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded me to recite to you Surah Al-Bayyina. Look at the reaction of Ubay ibn Ka'b, radiyallahu anhu. Ya Rasool Allah, asammani Allahu ilayk. Did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pronounce my name to you? Brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ibn Ka'b went down weeping, prostrating, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pronounce his name. If you become a muhsin in Ramadan, Allah will love you. And if Allah loves you, he will call upon Jibreel and he will say, O oh Jibreel, I love so and so. What is your name? Ahmed? Muhammad? Name it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, I love so and so. Fa'ahibbah. O oh, Jibreel, love him. Look what happened. Jibreel alayhi salam will call upon the dwellers of the heaven. Ya ahla sama. Inna Allah yuhibbu fulanan fa'ahibbu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves so and so. So love him. Then the dwellers of the heaven, the angels of the heavens, the angels will love that person. You know what happened then? ثُمَّ يُوضَعُ لَهُ الْقَبُولُ فِي الْأَرْضِ His acceptance will be in earth. The believers also in earth will love that person. Brothers and sisters in Islam, don't you dare go for anything else less than Ihsan in the month of Ramadan. And remember, in order to accomplish Ihsan in Ramadan, you must accomplish it in the area of your dealing with people, in the area of your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the area of the ibadat, the acts of worship, you must increase. If you do so, you will earn the forgiveness. There is a last area that you be must become a muhsin in Ramadan with. You know what it is? Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an. The month of Ramadan. The Qur'an was revealed in the month of Ramadan. Why don't we strive, brothers, brothers and sisters in Islam, in this month to also become muhsin, to increase our interaction, our relationship with the Qur'an in this month. Inshallah, the next episode, we will, bi ta'ala, explore verses from the Qur'an and we will ponder upon it, bi ta'ala. Don't miss the next episode. Ramadan is your second chance. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Except for one. Oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light. By your grace you sent us this Quran each day that we recite. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light.